Victoria's AMG is loud. It's partially because of a fairly massive exhaust leak that is right on the header. Because of German car things, for some reason, a bolt snapped in the absolute worst place in existence. I don't know if you guys have ever snapped a bolt in an impossible to reach place, but it's one of the most helpless, annoying feelings of all time. It snapped in the header. The headers are threaded on the M156. Oh, that was a spider, oh, it scared me. You have to like either prop the motor up and take the motor out a little bit or you have to drop all of like the steering column and stuff like that and listen, I have a lot of cars to build. I have a lot of things to do and I don't have time to do that. I was like, you know what? If I've got to go through all this effort to get a stud out, why not go ahead and just do headers and make the car more powerful and sound better? So there's a company local to Dallas that actually makes the header and will install for us. So we're going to drop the AMG off today and make the AMG even louder, but better. And then we're also going to be tuning it at Trackstar next week. Here we go. I actually have to cover my ears for that. It's so awesome. You can kind of hear it. Actually, you can really hear it. When you're driving, it's way worse. We, I took a ride in it the other night and I was like, nah, I'm fixing this, babe, sorry. Aside from that though, dude, this car sounds amazing. Oh, a little, little stinky fog. And it smells good. In a way, I actually think it's louder than my R35. That was good. Yep, yeah, all right, she wins. A lot of times when you have an exhaust leak, the knock sensor can actually pick that up and think that the engine is like knocking and it'll pull timing and that sort of deal. So exhaust leaks, especially around that area, have to be fixed. And so again, modern problems require modern solutions. Why not just put headers on it and make more power? <laughs> you don't want smoke. to call the Texas Autobahn. It's the express lanes. You have to pay to use these lanes, but you're about to go underground for about 10, 15 miles. And it's lit. Everybody drives so fast. Rip! Have that exhaust leak gone? <laughs> is it bad on the highway? Ah. Uh, Passing cars. That's what I notice is like when I get right up next to something. Yeah, you hear something. Oops. Hey, there's a AMG GT that was for sale on that like right down the road. I want to go look at it after okay. we drop this off. Beat gang. <laughs> this, did I tell you this is where I got my Scion XB's exhaust like 10 I years knew ago? That name sounded familiar. Yeah. How's it going, guys? Are these it? That's wild. It's like how, no, you know, nothing too crazy. So these guys, um, do they, are they any benefit at all? Or is it really just like a kind of a replacement type of deal? It's gonna be more of a stock replacement, but it's gonna open it up a little bit more compared to stock. So maybe a couple horsepower. Stock. Yeah, the stock ones are, are cast and prone to cracking. Um, okay. Pretty thick boy on them, so Sick, yeah, I was say, this anyway. is beefy. This is beefy. This is nice, dude. I'm so excited. <laughs> Bro. Oh, man. I'm gonna get in trouble. Oh, is this an SV? Or what? Wow. Damn. Woo. We like to call this a sleeper exhaust leak. You really don't you really don't know about it until it opens up. It idle it's all and then it goes to Oh yeah, you can hear it now. Oof. I think that's what's hard is there's no quiet because I feel like it's just There's no quiet mode yet. All right, that is the last of the exhaust leak. We're gonna come back. I'm gonna be able to work on other cars over the weekend. They're gonna do this for me and uh, we'll pick it up when the weekend's over. But first I gotta look at this for about seven minutes, seven hours. And then also ponder, I still have a soft spot for these. Day four. All right, so it took one day longer than it was supposed to. They had to special order some stuff for Mercedes and Mercedes actually delivered the wrong parts. 
while they've been doing that, I've been doing some stuff in the garage, having a lot of fun actually. I love this place and it makes me, it like keeps me motivated to work a lot. Cleaned up this a little bit. I'm gonna do a detailed video on that soon. But I actually, I clean, I super cleaned the 4G63. I used some, uh, a little bit of, I wanna get my Daniels dirty. Did a little bit of polishing and scraping down, cleaning this. You literally couldn't even tell the difference, but uh, clean up the uh, the deck a little bit, and it's good. It looks so good. Ordered two body kits, one for the Lexus and one for the Evo, and I'll talk about that next Evo video that we do. But anyways, we're off to Dallas. We are gonna go pick up the AMG. This is how you turn around for the wife. <laughs> Nothing surprises me anymore. <laughs> As soon as you started going for it, I was like, he's gonna like do a donut or something. Oh my god! Hey, that surprised me. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a Ferrari, uh, the Cal I don't even know. Dude, I don't know freaking Ferraris. I don't. So, the, technically, they're manifolds, because, like, a header, a header, I think, technically is like a, a merged, collected, like, pipe of multiple pipes, I think. And so, these are technically manifolds, but it should flow a little bit better, and I would assume it's gonna be a little bit louder. I think it's actually on maybe the quiet mode right now. Oh, that's on. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no exhaust leak. That's the best. There you go. <laughs> that is awesome. I wonder what it's gonna be like in the car. You said you wanted loud and we it. weren't messing around, so. I love it. This is the way to do it. Dude. It sounds so good. All right, we'll do it right now. Your Rick keeps telling me to do a burnout. <laughs> Can't tempt me to have a good time because you know I'm gonna do it. Middle name's good time, right? It sounds like a beast. It sounds like a monster. <laughs> it sounds amazing. Probably one of the best sounding cars we've ever owned. Yeah. Thanks, uh, babe. You get a huge smudge right in the middle. I haven't touched it. That's quieter. That is awesome. <laughs> sorry, sorry, y'all. Have fun working. <laughs> I'm so excited. You can never tempt me with a good time because, you know, it's my middle name for one. For two, <laughs> he said to do a burnout. I don't know if he said to do four or for whatever, but you know, this thing sounds amazing. And it might seem like I love the car more. It's actually possible, but she does love this car. What you guys know that? Hey, just to clarify, babe, you do love this car more than I do, right? Yes. <laughs> Sorry about your tires. The rears are pretty much gone, anyways. Probably my fault, but I'm gonna get her some PS4S all the way around. A few moments later. <laughs> she doesn't trust the tires now, so I'm taking it. <laughs> It was all part of the plan, boys. I just wanted to drive it. So I really love it. Oh, check engine light, baby. Now that the exhaust leak is done, it is it is louder than it was, but it also, in car, it actually sounds better. And uh, we don't have like a, a leak right there in front of me, so that's a Z, that's loud. Like, this sounds awesome. Like, if you guys can hear this, it's, it's super tame until you get on it, and so it's like, it's perfect. Dude, it's got some amazing pops. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah! Dude! <laughs> 
Oh, that's awesome. That's so awesome. <laughs> Ready for this, guys? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! Let's go! Man, so this car, it is amazing under load. I really thought this car was gonna be incredibly loud under load, but it sounds great. But man, it's, it's loud and it sounds good. This car is awesome. Um, again, so this is an Army Trix full exhaust. Uh, that was with the valves open and then that was there. I'm gonna call out the manifold so that you guys who get easily triggered, they'll get easily triggered. You know what I really love about this car? It has this special V8 noise, okay? I have a 6.2 in my 350Z. This doesn't sound like a typical 6.2. It doesn't sound anything like an LS. The way the exhaust is like, especially up in the high revs, it just sounds amazing. It's, it honestly, it's incredible. And uh, we also have, <laughs> we got new tires. So good. Yeah. How'd you, what'd you think whenever I was uh, passing you and doing flybys and making the pop, 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 pops? Um, I'm like super jealous. We got new tires coming tomorrow. Wait, why do we, we, cause uh, somebody keeps burning out in my car. <laughs> got new tires coming tomorrow. We're gonna get some PS4S's. Yeah, these are basically gone. So. <laughs> we'll have to do one huge massive burnout in our driveway to finish these off before they get here tomorrow And then we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get everything de-chromed sometime pretty soon And we're gonna do it, but this is this car, I love this car. <laughs> Good this car's gonna look as nice as, as it sounds I'm just gonna let you guys know a real car enthusiast knows no such thing as brand loyalty Obviously, I love Japanese cars, but you know you could put me in any car and I can probably find something awesome about it. And really, that's what'll make you a car enthusiast. At the end of the day, if you only like Mercedes, then you're a Mercedes enthusiast, you know? At the end of each video, I give you guys daily life advice. And this one is gonna be really important. You guys need to listen up here. What I want you guys to know today is there's always going to be people out there that want to see you fail, that love to see you fail. And I'm telling you right now, those are not the most dangerous people out there because those guys are predictable. They're one faced. It's easy to know, like they just want to see you fail. It's plain and simple. The most dangerous people you can have in your life are not the people that want to see you fail, but the people that don't mind if you do. You might have somebody in, in your life like this right now, and you might not even know it yet. The most dangerous type of person to associate yourself with, the, the worst type of person to have in your life is not the person that wants to see you fail, but doesn't mind if you fail. Basically meaning two-faced. They'll smile at you, they'll be happy for you, as long as you're not doing better than them. The second you start doing better than them, it's not okay. And if they see you fail, especially if they're your friend, they see you fail, they get more comfortable because that keeps their status as higher than the rest. You will meet a lot of people like that. I have met plenty of people like that where they were my friend and then all of a sudden I started doing well and then all of a sudden, hmm, interesting. Every time I would fail, it would be easier to reach back out to me because it's like, oh, phew, thank God he's not doing well. That's great for me. Watch out for those people. It might take it might take 30 years, but do your best to surround yourself by people that just don't care how well or bad you do. They're just there for you. Take it from me. It's hard for people to to see me as just a friend because of the stat of, the, of the, like the following that I have. I'm just being honest. The core group of friends don't see fame. They don't see money. They don't see whatever it is. It doesn't matter what happens in your life. They're just here for you and they want the best for you. And those are the types of people that you need in your life. Just avoid the people that don't mind seeing you fail. Wrap that around your head. Think about that for a little bit, but I just want you guys to know that's a really important life advice. And that is something that you need to, especially if you're 16, 17, 18, or even early, mid 20s. I mean, shoot, you could be 30s and just figuring this out. Stay away from those people. Top speed exhaust manifolds on. Tune in tires, or tires then tune soon. Peace out guys, y'all have an amazing day. Hey, guess what? Ooh, my Gucci, my Gucci slide be making the freaking, it's like SpongeBob. Okay, anyways, watch those two videos in front of your face and then make sure you subscribe. <laughs>